Hello and welcome to a new video about Data Cake. Today I would like to show you something that we haven't been covering so often yet in videos, which is our um, native Node-RED integration called Cake Red. So if you're familiar with Node-RED, it's a super cool tool to do some graphical programming, and we thought it would be a good idea to have this on Data Cake as well. So this is a new workspace. As you can see, there are no devices yet, and on my sidebar here, there's this Cake Red element. If you want to start with Cake Red, it's available in the billing section. Um, in this workspace, I have already integrated it. And how this looks, I can show you when I click on it. So to open up the Cake Red after it's been installed in your workspace, just click on it. This will open up a new um, browser tab because of um, security things. Um, we can't run this in an iframe. So we are um, providing um, this on its own server. So as you can see here, this is carrying the workspace um, description in here. Um, this is now an instance running on its own server connected to a domain. There's a firewall before it, and you can add some port forwarding to that Node-RED. So this Node-RED is non-restricted. That means you can do all the stuff that you're familiar with um, to do on Node-RED. And this also means that it's completely um, extensible means you can go into the palette of Node-RED and install the various modules, open source modules available for Node-RED. Today, we are going to use um, the CoAP extension, which allows you to run your own CoAP server directly in Node-RED. For this example, um, we are going to use this PyCom device here. And we are going to um, write a short firmware for it that it connects using CoAP to Node-RED and then Node-RED forwards the data into DataCake. So today it's all about building your CoAP server with DataCake. For those who are not familiar with CoAP, CoAP means, uh, means Constraint Application Protocol. That is um, a protocol, an IoT communication protocol, or basically a communication protocol similar to HTTP calls, but basically it runs on UDP, but it makes sure that there is some kind of bidirectional communication possible. Also security with DTLS um, and basically CoAP is perfect for microcontrollers, um, for power optimized devices, for NB IoT and stuff like that. So it's an IoT protocol, a very cool one. I especially like it. And today I'm going to show you how you can use that on DataKey. So first of all, let's install the CoAP extension here. Let's press um, on install. This will now run through the installation process. And this message um, shows us that everything is installed. We can close this now. And we can go into the node section here of um, KGRED and search for CoAP. So we are now going to, first of all, create a CoAP input. So open this up. We need to define our CoAP server, which um, simply is just um, on the, um, yeah, we just leave it like this. Um, this is a standard port. We can press on add. Um, next, we need to define a method. So we are defining a post method because we want to use a post um, request to send um, measurement data from the device to our CoAP server. Um, we need to define an endpoint, which is slash update. We press on done. Um, and also, we need a function node in here and this function node um, we will be using this to send data or an acknowledgement of the request back to data cake uh, to the device okay this is done by simply accessing this um, and sending this msg.rest.end okay okay we press on done last but not least we also want to see what's going on here so we are putting on this um, debug node we press on deploy and now this KGRED instance is all set to receive CoAP messages. OK, we are now all set. And we can go um, continue and add the firmware to this PyCom device. And we are going to forward then data from the PyCom device to that KGRED um, CoAP server. I've created this small snippet here, um, nothing special. It is using a micro CoAP library, so a CoAP library especially for MicroPython, and which is pretty easy to use. And as you can see, it's just a few lines of code. So what it does is it reads out the temperature from that ESP32 
and also can generate a random number. And then it uses the CoAP endpoint to transfer that data every 60 seconds. So what we need is a CoAP server address. So we can now go back into our um, cake red in here. And as you can see here, this cake red runs on your own domain. That means we simply can just copy this domain here um, back into the Visual Studio code, paste this here. The CoAP endpoint, um, the port address for UDP port address, which is um, 5683 is okay, it's set. And um, basically in the um, CoAP post request, request we left the endpoint um, for update. This is exactly like we defined the update here. This is all set, the CoAP server is set. And what we can do now here is we save this and upload this to the PyCom device. And it has connected to the local Wi-Fi here. In a few seconds, we can see our first CoAP message coming from that device. Yes, it has sent its first message and it was also responded from a server. So we can go into our cake red. And let's have a look here by opening the up the debug section. And yes, there you can see there are the requests which are coming from that device. Also, if we are going into these requests here, um, this is the request and there is the payload. Um, and there it is. This is the data coming from our device, which is a JSON sent as a plain text. Um, you can see this here and it's now successfully transferred to Cake Red using a co IP server running on Node Red on the Data Cake workspace. And now let's continue to get this data into Data Cake. So let's go back into our workspace here um, and create our first device. We choose an API device, new product, call that co IP demo product. We press on next. We leave the serial number auto generated, co IP device 01. We press on next. We want the free plan and we're adding the first device. So this is our device. Um, let's go into the configuration, scroll down a little bit and create two fields for the things that this device is sending us. First of all, let's create a temperature as a float. And as I said, it's sending us a random number, um, but I want to store this as um, a string, which is random, random number of course we add the field so there's now something that um, we've designed for node red which is data cake nodes and you can find them here on the sidebar that means we can just simply drag them here and select the devices in our workspaces um, what we need to do is we double click on this and there is already this workspace connection to um, where the cake red is embedded into. This is um, automatically finding the CoAP device number one. We choose temperature here, we press on done, and this one also in the CoAP workspace, we press, um, we select the CoAP device zero one and the run random number. What we need to do now is we need to extract the information um, coming from the um, CoAP call and forward that onto these different nodes here. In order to do that, um, we create another function node and paste this here. Um, I have already written this piece of decoder before. Um, we set this to two outputs and paste this. So the first one goes into this, this goes into that. Then we do another connection, make another connection from that original function node. Of course, we could embed this here as well, but we leave it like it is. Um, and we press on deploy. So as you can see, the device is connected. You can see these little labels here um, saying you that this um, has successfully connected to the data cake device. We can now go back or let's wait for another data to come. And yes, there is new data. So that means it should already be forwarded to data cake. And yes, the data finally has arrived from the PyCom device using CoAP onto DataCake. We can go into the dashboard and of course, we could also create a small um, basic dashboard for it by selecting the temperature, place it in here. And also we want to have a weighted widget for the random number, save this, make it a little bit larger and we're all set. That's how you can use the managed um, node red called cake red in your data cake workspaces, build your own co-AP server. Thanks for watching. And as always stay tuned.